Hi everybody, this is Scott with Believers Underground. I'll be on the Intel Hub tonight, uh, 5 to 7 West Coast Time, 8 to 10 East Coast Time, uh, USA. Uh, I want to talk about uh, some of the heating temperatures. Uh, uh, an article was released on areas of the planet that are getting hotter. And those areas are in expansion zones. And, and I'm going to show you this this one article where it actually shows you that all the, the the global temperatures are dropping, folks. But like I stated, you get all this ice melting off of both poles. It, it starts to shift the the temperature around the planet. The, this cold leaves there and it goes somewhere else. Just like the water, it leaves there, it goes somewhere else as this planet's adjusting and readjusting. Uh, that's why the, the water rates evaporate at different levels. Uh, you, you also have, like with the, the plates, the tectonic plates, now you get rebound up, post-glacial rebound, uh, the ice comes off and that weight comes off and that land rebounds up. Well then, another area has to sink. It, it's just common sense. It, kind of like a, a, if you have a, what are those called, uh, a measuring thingy, all right, uh, balance scales. You, you take weight off here and it sinks over here. You take weight off over here, it sinks over here. So as you're getting these continents lifting up at these both poles, then you start getting those plates they start to, to lift up in those areas and as that water goes in the oceans it's actually sinking them in those areas. So you, you have this teeter-totter effect of this weight movement and, and weight distribution. That's why you're starting to see these colder temperatures, okay, because that's moving around. The ocean currents are changing. Uh, you're, you're getting this mass loading of weight leaving these areas, lifting up Greenland, lifting up Russia, lifting up Canada. These are nations rising against nations. It, and that cold starts to go around the planet. That's why the planet's temperatures are actually dropping. In certain areas, it's getting hotter. Why? Because you're getting magma activity, big time, as this earth expands it, and gets wider because it's receiving this water. It, it's tearing your, your aquifers from underneath. You're starting to lose water from your aquifers now. I, I'll be talking about this on the Intel Hub. It's, it, it's, it's not pretty, but you're also going to have problems with this water where it starts to rain in different locations. Now aquifers are going to be building up somewhere else. So you'll, you'll have areas where you're losing uh, water, but you're gaining it in another area, but you don't have the ability to grab that water out from those other areas. So it, it's a real shell game now with the climate, it, and it's a continuous adjustment and readjustment as this ice melts. So as far as this planet getting hotter, it's not, okay? The thing is, is why ice melts. And I told you, it's nuclear fallout. It's in the ice cores. It's in the heavy metal dome. Uranium's mine. This water leaves, and now the the whole planet's readjusting from this water leaving from there. But this planet is not getting hotter. Uh, MSM came out with a, an article too the other day. Uh, goodbye sea level rise and I've been telling you that man there's some little areas where there's an adjustment or readjustment before and after an earthquake but they said the oceans are actually dropping this article also says ocean sea levels are dropping the only way they're gonna drop is if the ocean is sinking remember we're working with plates here they lift okay and and then there's pressure put on it's like the west coast uh, Cascadia, it's tilting. You know, ocean floor sinks, coast tilts. 
There's a lot of stuff going on. You got the same thing happening over on the East Coast. Uh, this anomaly is global, folks, and it only gets worse from here. It's not going away. And I'm, the information is shock resistance. Please come by tonight. Call in. Uh, I'm not doing too much typing because both of my hands hurt. You know, I got bit by some pet bulls yesterday in a, in a free-for-all fight. And my other hand sore from, from socking on the animal. Uh, my shoulder hurts a little bit too. But uh, you know what? It, it, this ain't the time to, to think about uh, what I'm going to be buying for Christmas or... Or, you know, uh, looking at getting into relationships and stuff like this. You know, all these things, you know, you do it in moderation and everything, but you got some serious problems coming right now. And you, you need to start learning and studying about this stuff. Post glacier rebound effect, it, man, it, it's going to cause all kinds of stuff, including famines and pestilence. I love you very much. Information is shock resistant. Hey, this is an article. It says, 12-month-long drop of world temperatures wipes out a century of warming. Over the past year, anecdotal evidence for the cooling planet has exploded. China has its coldest winter in 100 years. Baghdad sees its first snow in all recorded history. North America has the most snow cover in 50 years, with places like Wisconsin the highest since record keeping began, record levels of Arctic sea ice recorded in Minnesota, Texas, Florida, Mexico, Australia, Iran, Greece, South Africa, Greenland, Argentina, Chile, and the list goes on and on. No more than anecdotal evidence to be sure, but now that evidence has been supplemented by hard scientific facts. All four major global temperature tracking outlets, Hadley, NASA, GIS, UAH, and RSS, have released updated data. All show that over the past year, global temperatures have dropped big time. A company of list of the sources can be seen here, and I'll leave this link up on, on this. And, in a little graph. Global Info Powerment Project. Love and Truth Tour.